Alright guys, welcome to your 49th video and in this video we're going to start to build the client's messaging system. Now what you need to do is you need to make an entirely new project and make two new classes called client and client test Java. This is basically going to be set up the same as we you know did before. The client is going to be responsible for making the GUI and all of the connection crap and the client test is just going to be responsible for actually running the stuff inside the client class. So the reason that we need two different projects, one for the client and one for the server, is because this isn't one big program with, you know, two different classes in it. These are actually two separate Java programs that are going to be on two completely different computers and once both of the programs are running, then they can connect with each other. But guys, just remember, this isn't one program, it's two separate programs that go on two different computers. One on the client and one on the server. So this one, of course, goes on the client, which is typically, you know, just a personal PC. And the first thing we need to do, just like before, is import a bunch of stuff. So import Java IO, import, wow, Java, okay, Java.net, AWT, and then we need to import Java event. Okay, you know what? Probably if I just don't wait for crap to pop up and I just type it manually, it'll probably be a little bit easier. Import Java admin, import, last but not least, Java X dot swing. All right, so there we go. We imported everything we need, which is five lines. And the next thing we need to do, of course, just like uh, the server side, is we need to inherit from JFrame <coughs> extends. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I just got done eating a sub, and I actually ordered it from a place called Drex. It's right here. Because at first I was going to get one from Subway, but I walked into Subway and the lady who was working at Subway was actually clipping her toenails. So I just looked at her and she looked at me and then I walked right back out and then I went to Drex to get a sub. So, you know, I wasn't that hungry. But anyways, you know, now that I got that story out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, code all the variables that we need. Again, I'm not going to go over them again. So most of them are the exact same. J text field user text is where you're going to be typing the crap um, j text area is that chat window where everyone's messages are going to be displayed private object output stream output now um probably the only thing that might confuse you guys is Remember I told you guys that one of these computers is going to be on a server and one of them is going to be on the client which is basically like your personal computer that you have at home or your laptop or something. And I said in the last tutorial that the output whenever we coded the server class was from the server to the client. But since this is the client's class now and the client is going to be running this program, then whenever we view the output, the output is from this computer which is a laptop or your personal computer to the server. So the output isn't always from the server to the client, it's whatever computer you're running the program on to the other computer flowing away from this, flowing out. So just remember that. So private object input stream, we'll name this input, which is you know from the server going in to this computer. And private string message just the message and private string server IP. I probably don't need to explain to you guys what that is, but if you couldn't guess, it's the IP address of the server, aka the person you are talking to. So the last but not least variable is private, probably actually the most important one, is socket connection. And you guys already know what a socket is, basically the connection itself. So now that we got all of our variables set up in the next tutorial, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating the constructor and actually the constructor is built a little bit differently. Um, like the server, it's going to be responsible for taking care of all the GUI stuff, but we're going to add one more thing in there and I don't want it to throw you. So guys, definitely make sure you check out the next video where we're going to be building the constructor in the GUI.